Today we are looking at a Lambda 35 UV Vis spectrometer. This unit is in great cosmetic condition and great working condition. I'll show you how we run a sample through the system. So, in here we have a sample right now, but we're going to take it out and run a auto zero. It prompts us to remove the sample here and I'll press OK and we'll check back in once that the auto zero is complete. The auto zero is finishing up right now as you can see I'll also show you that we have a temperature probe it's connected here and you can see it there on the wall and now I'll place the sample back in make sure that the arrow on the cuvette is pointing forward and now I'm going to start the scan so the system starts from 700 nanometers and scans through the UV and visible light range in order to provide a da data sample. You can see it has it started the process and you can see here that the scale is changing as absorbance values change. We'll stay here and watch until the system completes its run. It shouldn't take too long, and since we're using DI water, we should see the absorbance increase as we approach the UV light range. And we should see pretty low absorbance values as we are seeing during the visible light range. and the sample has been run we can see the graph here thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed again this was the lambda 35 uv vis spectrometer from perkin elmer